Hey everybody, Blendmaster here with another tutorial, and this is going to be another Photoshop to Blender style tutorial. So basically we're going to be looking at how we can use Blender as a photo editor to take any image that you have, I'm going to be using this rock image, and make it look more cinematic like this. So let's jump into Blender and get started. First thing we want to do is switch over to the compositing layout, then I'm going to check Use Nodes and Backdrop, and I'll press Ctrl up arrow to make this a full screen. Now I can delete both of these nodes here, and we'll press Shift A to add in the image that we want. And for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a picture of some rocks which I created in a previous tutorial. If you want to learn how to make these rocks, I'll put a link in the description below. So now what we need to do is add in a blur node right in here. I'll press Ctrl G so that we can make it a node group. I'm just going to position these and I'm going to get rid of this size socket because that's not needed and we're going to switch this to fast gaussian and I'm going to set it to 5x5 five five. now we can add in a mix node and if we plug in our original image and switch this to soft light you can see what it's doing to our image and it looks pretty nice this effect though may be a little too strong so I'm going to set the factor to 0.5 and now what we need to do is bring back some of the sharpness because this blur is getting rid of it on the edges. So to do that, we're going to add in a RGB to black and white node. And then we're also going to add in a filter node and switch it to sharpen. And you can take a look at that. I'm going to switch this factor to about 10 so it's a lot sharper, exactly what we want. And then we can duplicate this mix node, plug it in. And we want to switch this to overlay and you can see that it's adding some sharpness to our scene but it's also making it a lot darker the higher this factor value is so I'm going to leave it at something around 0.25 and I think that looks pretty good so now to add in our black bars we're going to have to add in a box mask and we want to set this Y value to 1 we want to set the width to 1 as well and then we can press shift D to duplicate this and set this Y value to 0 We'll duplicate our overlay node and just plug both of these in here, set the factor to 1, and switch it to add. If we take a look, you can see we have two white bars with a big black bar in the middle, which is the opposite of what we want. So we want to press Shift A, color, invert, so that we can invert it. And then if we duplicate this mix node again, plug in our image, and set it to multiply, we're getting those nice black blurs, bars, exactly how we want. So that's pretty good. I'm just going to plug this into our output there. And I'm going to take the factor from our soft light node, plug it in here, the factor from our overlay node, and plug it in here. And now we can just rename this soft light. We'll rename this one overlay. And if we tab out of the node group, we can adjust these values here again. And you can already see that we're getting a really cool cinematic effect. But one last thing we need to do, let's just switch this back to the node editor. One last thing we can do is come over to the scene settings over here. And under color management, we can switch it from default to film. And that just makes it look a lot better. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you want to adjust the colors, you can always add in a RGB curve right before this and play around so if you don't want it to be as red you can decrease that and you can also decrease the greens so you can get a much cooler look but I like this how it is here and you can see that there's a little bit of the original image showing through there so to fix that we can just increase the width of our box master to 2 and that should take care of it so now if we go to our UV image editor, we can just click the viewer node here and press F3 to save our image. I'm just going to save it, cinematic rocks. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials, feel free to leave them in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching.